Hello and welcome to The Load In, a United Theater podcast with me, your host, Lee Metzger. I'm back at it, doing it again, doing the show for you and yours. Today we're going to be talking about one specific thing. It's our film series. One of them specifically, the Westerly Irish Film Festival that is presented in partnership with the Irish Coastal Club. So today we're going to kind of dive into that, talk a little bit about the Irish Coastal Club, talk about the Irish Film Festival, and talk about one specific movie with an interesting twist. You're listening to The Load In. Let's di- <laughs> Damn, I almost did it. Let's dive in. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the Westerly Irish Film Festival. Now, if you don't know anything about this, um, that's fine. Uh, what this is going to function like is I'm going to have information that I'm going to tell you, and then you'll hear it and then perhaps act on it, uh, which would be pretty cool for all parties involved. Um, so the Westerly Irish Film Festival came about because the Irish Coastal Club is a, um, it's a nonprofit social club that exists in, uh, Rhode Island. It's a, um, it's a nonprofit, um, they approached us to do this cool celebration of Irish heritage, and we were super excited about it. So we uh, we said, let's do it. So a little bit about the Irish Coastal Club. The Irish Coastal Club is a nonprofit social club. Their mission is to preserve and promote the music, language, dance, songs, literature, and history of Ireland. They offer Irish language classes, dance workshops, concerts of Celtic music and song, interesting lectures, plus entertaining and informative bus trips and club outings. They also offer three scholarships a year to local high school seniors in Westerly, Stonington, and New London. Um, you can find more information about them on the irishcoastalclub.org. Uh, so the Westerly Irish Film Festival that was birthed out of this relationship that we have with the Irish Coastal Club. Uh, it We will be screening three Irish films, um, and they all kind of touch different bases. Uh, I know that's a baseball analogy, and we're talking about Ireland, um, but I don't know anything about cricket. So, wicket. St- sticky wicket. I, I, I don't know anything about cricket. I can't even, is it a bat? A cricket bat? So yeah, we, we've got three we've got three movies coming up on the Westerly Irish Film Festival. Those uh, films are, the, the first one is on March 5th, and that one's called Roisha and Frank. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that one later. Then we have um, a beautifully animated film called Song of the Sea. Uh, and a sweet and quietly eloquent herself, which came out in 2020. Tickets to each film are $10. They're sold individually. There's no like um, all access ticket. Um, and those tickets go to benefit the United Theater, which is also a nonprofit, and the Irish Coastal Club. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about Roisha and Frank. Um, I want to tell you about this because A, it's the first movie in the series, but B, it It's kind of, there's a bit of an interesting twist to it. So I'll just read you a quick synopsis of the plot, and then we'll we'll talk a little bit more about it. Grief-stricken Rosha lost her husband, Frank, two years ago. Her son, Alan, worries about her, but the arrival of a mysterious dog seems to bring happiness to her life once more. Rosha soon comes to believe that the dog is, in fact, Frank reincarnated. He has come back to be with her again dot 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 and to coach the local sports team so you probably don't know this about me but i hosted a podcast about airbud that ran about three years um, i watched over 25 films all produced under the airbud entertainment umbrella and developed a bit of a theory when it comes to uh doll um Movies centered around animals that can conduct themselves in a in a different way, in a way that is unlike other animals. Um, through my research and theory development, 
um, I came up with uh, the Airbud theory, which is an Airbud is an omnipotent being that is basically summoned from another dimension in response to a human kind of like ascending to another higher plane of existence, whether that's through ability, a higher consciousness, or just overall influence. And it's important to say an Airbud, not Airbud is. Um, there are moments where Airbuds are are summoned into existence all throughout time and history, as we see in the films um, produced under the Airbud Entertainment umbrella. We see this, of course, with Buddy Fram in Airbud, the original Airbud. We see it with Cleopatra. Um, she has Budasi and Cleopatra in Treasure Buddies. We also see it with Queen Elizabeth in the movie The Duke. And we can go on and on with these, but you get the picture. Now, this is just part of my larger Airbud as a harbinger of great power and change theory, um, but I won't get into that right now. If you do want to hear more of my thoughts about Airbud, comment below. When I saw that this dog in Russia and Frank was going to be coaching a sports team, I obviously I, my alarms went off. This is an Airbud, uh, another Airbud film. So, I didn't do any more research. I didn't do any more reading into what the plot is. I don't want to be spoiled, but I will be at this screening. I will find out if this dog is an Airbud. And if it is indeed an Airbud, we're going to be talking about it next week on the load in. That I can guarantee. Um, but for now, that's all I really wanted to talk about today is the uh, West of the Irish Film Festival and our partnership with the Co the Irish Coastal Club. Um, and uh, if you want to see these films, I think they're going to be fabulous. Song of the Sea looks absolutely gorgeous. Herself looks like a poignant film. And of course, Roisha and Frank. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what sort of what sort of capabilities this dog has. Um, and in the meantime, uh, we have no reviews. This is usually the part of the uh, of the podcast where I look to see if we have any reviews. I already did that. We don't. So we're going to move right on to the end of the show, which is the end of the show. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, and um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you know a little bit more about the United Theater and the Westerly Irish Film Festival and Hopefully you're going to come down and, and catch a film with us. Um, so until next time, I'm Lee Metzger. This is The Load In, and I'm going to leave. I guess I can't really leave a podcast or a video. I guess you have to leave. So imagine that this is like the ending of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and I'm coming out here with like a robe on and a... <laughs> this is a a toothbrush. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in to the United Theater Podcast Network. If you enjoyed this episode, we encourage you to subscribe to our show so you never miss an episode. And if you could take a moment to leave a review, we'd greatly appreciate it. Your feedback helps us create content that you love. So hit that subscribe button and leave us a review, and we'll see you on the next episode.